Well, this one's for you, Jerry. Um, we'll get a bit of temperature into it. Good heat in the dome. I'm after already cooking bread today, so um, that's why it's it's been it's already pretty hot. Now um, I have a good fire established there in the bottom, and uh, it's running plenty hot. Now, first thing to do with this one here, I have a few bits around here to grab, is the accessory rack, and I put that on the very um, on the top rack there. And on top of that, then. I put uh, your deflector plates. Now the same goes for. Oh, they're still hot from the from the last cook. Even the gloves won't uh, save you from them. Um, so you set that on top of the accessory rack, and then what you need is three. You can use anything. You can use tin foil, or you can use um, you can use a ball of tin foil, or you can use nuts or bowl. Um, provided they're not zinc coated. Uh, but I've just three plumbing fittings there. I think they're 30 mil plumbing fitting is what they are. And uh, they've just worked absolutely fine for me. You just need a gap between the deflector plate and the pizza stone. Now, this pizza stone as well, I use for bread, so it's already hot, so I'll just be careful that it's a bit on the hot side. So you sit that on top of it. So you're with me? You've got uh, the accessory rack, plus the deflectors, plus the 30 mil gap. And on top of that, you've got your, um, your pizza stone. Now here we are back in the Luna. We're doing some um, flatbreads tonight. I don't want to overdo them because I want them to wrap later on for some juju kebabs. So I've done a few of them there. Um, they're turning out pretty well. And I've, they only take moments to cook because we're at um, a little under, well we were at 300 Celsius, but I've been opening and closing the dome. So top vent fully open, bottom vent fully open. And let me see now, this should only take a few seconds. Always burp the grill slightly when you open it. And open it the rest of the way. And there's another nan on the way. Or a black bread, I should say. We can get it to flip for me. There we go. Now, just to, a quick recap of the setup there was um, double deflector, plenty of fire, and uh, spacers, whatever you use, uh, pizza stone on top. Get it high up in the dome because you want that to cook from the heat of the dome as well. You want the heat of that dome to get the, to reflect the heat back down. You're cooking from underneath with direct heat and you're cooking with the convection as well of the air moving right around it. So um, that's the plan. So I hope that's some help to you there. Um, that little flat, flatbread should be just done. They cook in moments, not minutes. So again, burp the grill slightly when you open it or you're going to lose your eyebrows. Don't ask me how I know. Uh, but a uh, black marker works perfectly well for eyebrows in case you lose them. Um, give that another few seconds there. We can watch it actually as we go. And I just give them a little brush and garlic butter then when they're done. Just keeps it nice and soft, um, especially when you roll them up for the kebabs. Uh, while we're waiting on that one there to do, um, I'm actually doing, um, I'm going to be putting the juju kebabs now very shortly on Big Joe. I have him just running there about 300 and I'm going to open that up there and give it a blast now very, very shortly. So let's see how, um, let me see how my nan is doing here now. That should be just about it done. Yeah, just brown. Oh yeah, that's it. Just brown up nicely. Give it another few seconds on the other side. And that's that one done. And as I said, I give them a little bit of a brush of uh, some garlic butter. The simplest garlic butter in the world, actually, by the way, is some melted butter with some, um, what's it called? Garlic, uh, garlic, garlic herby butter for barbecue light. There's a wonderful one for the job on it. Uh, just about a half a teaspoon in a little bit of melted butter. So there we go, boys. Um, and as I said to you, that's the deflector set up one more time for Jerry that was wondering uh, if I can get inside with into it there. And I hope that's some help to you.